Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in Fonda, Iowa. We're doing a auction preview of a pretty cool old school car, uh, parts, gas pumps, gas signs, gas memorabilia. Just a really, really cool auction here. Um, the old people that own this stuff had it a long, long time and uh, they have unfortunately passed on and they are now auctioning pretty much all the stuff in these two buildings here. So we're gonna talk about um, what is sitting outside today. There is more stuff inside. There's a bunch of visible gas pumps, um, some signs, other car parts, a couple more car bodies, um, a lot of good stuff. So I can't get inside there today. The guys that are pulling this stuff out have left. So I'm not obviously gonna trespass, but I have talked to the auction owner and he said it is fine to film here today. So we're gonna be showing you everything that's in the auction that's sitting outside. And uh, with that being said, it's this Saturday, which I believe is April 6th. Let me check the, let me check the calendar here. Yep, it's April 6th, in person only, in Fonda, Iowa. Doherty Auction is the auctioneer doing the, uh, the sale here. So with that being said, let's kind of just walk by each, each item here and, and talk about it. All right, so first one up is a Ford. A little four cylinder engine. Sitting inside of it is some 25, 26 Chevy parts. Pretty much just a frame. Sitting next to that is a Dodge or Dodge Brothers. I'm not sure what year this would be. Engine still in place. Front cowl is there. It's a four door sedan. This one's pretty cool. old truck that uh, could tell a few stories. All the old school paint. Just an awesome car or awesome truck. Starter. Very, very cool. Engine still in place. This one is especially rare. It's either a 41 or 42 Packard Clipper four-door sedan and I was doing some research on this before the video and in 1942 they made just under 20,000 of these so because no one is here with me I'm not going to open doors or trunks I don't want to be accused of breaking anything but it looks like a really really good car and I noticed that the window's down here, so let's check that out. Pretty cool car for a pre-war era Packard. Got another truck. Man, I have no idea even what year this would be, but it's gotta be early with how how squared off and everything that is. The cab is. No motor. Missing a fender. Body itself is really not in terrible shape. The running boards are inside of it. Pretty basic. We've got here what I believe is a Ford Model T. Just the body. And then here is a Ford sedan. I do believe it's a Ford anyways. Sedan. These look awesome when they're all redone, either stock or as a hot rod. <clears throat> Floors are out of it. No motor, no frame. 
We have a couple more Model T's. I think these are Model T's anyways. Just bodies, no frames, no steering, no running gear. This one is super cool. I wish I knew about these, uh, these pre-war cars a lot more than I do because this thing's got an awesome look to it. Three window coupe. Just a classic style. Got the wood frame. Gauge cluster is there, steering column is there. No motor, no transmission. But an awesome look nonetheless. All right, sit next to that. We've got uh, four old school, I want to say these are oil canisters that you pump your oil out of for like shops, but I've never seen these in use before, so a little before my time. They appear to be in pretty good shape though. All things considered their age and the glass cylinders are appear to be in good shape. Then we have a lot of miscellaneous uh, fenders, running gears. So if you guys see something you're interested in, this is an in-person only auction, nothing online. So again, it's DohertyAuction.com. This will be on April 6th in Fonda, Iowa. Bunch of wheels, some steel wheels, as well as some wood spoke. I never understood how they put these together. That's pretty cool that each peg is individual and it comes together there in the middle. Pretty interesting. Got another pallet of engines, running gears. Looks like a flathead intake right there. Some old grill shells. This one's an old Chevrolet. Looks pretty cool. I wish the guys that were pulling the stuff out of here were here today. It'd be awesome to get the story on, on the couple that had this stuff and how long they amassed it. Maybe I'll add that to the video afterwards in the editing. A couple Dodge Brothers radiator shells. Actually three of them. There's a third right there. Some luggage containers, fenders, running boards. There's probably the roof to that coupe or partial roof to the coupe. A lot more wheels. Got a convertible top mechanism here for an early car. And uh, some more fenders, running boards, a dash section. This looks like a 30s era Ford car frame. Do not know the year. Pretty straight though. No rot through that I can see. Some more convertible tops. Like I said, in addition to all this stuff, there is more stuff in the two buildings, but because no one's here, I'm not gonna go in there today couple windshield frames. Uh, there's, I think, four. Don't hold me to that. Maybe four or five visible gas pumps. Very, very cool. Very rare. Bunch of uh, porcelain signs. Just a big old pile of vintage axles. All right, coming around here.
Here's a rear clip of a four-door sedan, unsure of the make. That one says 28 Chevy, so if someone needs a 28 Chevy transmission, three more grill shells, I'm sorry, four more. There's a Dodge, two Fords, and a Chevy. Bunch more wheels. The old school Firestone tire, pretty cool. This is definitely an auction for the vintage pre-war aficionado to dig through all this stuff. 26 Chevy quarter panels, it looks like, right here, with the fenders. Some old crates, who knows what's in those. Some oil cans, a lot more glass. This is the oldest thing so far I've seen, is 1950 Studebaker, or I'm sorry, 1915. Studebaker, 109 years old, some more running boards, I think this is an engine run stand or a, a test run stand, a lot more wheels, a couple washing machines, yeah here's, it was all stored in this building which is pretty crazy. The photos on Doherty's website are insane. That, that black and white car body was standing on its side. They just shoehorned it all in there. Got it to fit though. Uh, visor, I don't know if it's a Fulton or not. Doesn't look like a Fulton, but who knows. Some more fenders, we've got another grill shell. This is, looks like a Chevrolet. A 25 cowl, 25 Chevy cowl. Another cowl in a rear clip section here. Another Chevy cowl section. Pretty cool, job number 180, body number. 46, 49. So they were just in the infancy stages of uh, the body by Fisher tags. <clears throat> Some more rear clips. This one has a tag on it from South Dakota, 1938. So that one was tagged last about 90 years ago. Twenty-eight Chevy doors, Chevy hood, some fenders, a bunch of Ford running boards. This says twenty something Buick. I can't read that last number there. Here's another 1915 Studebaker grill shell. And to kind of finish this off here, we got some other smalls. And a bunch more old school iron behind here, but I'm not gonna crawl through there right now. They haven't moved it, moved it, so I'm not going to. Kind of a unique one here. This one says Overland. I don't know what that's for. And we have some old uh, gas pump handles, I'm sure, for those visible pumps. So you buy the pumps, you might need the handles, as well as all the other hardware. So yeah, guys, expect to uh, expect to be at this auction Saturday, April 6th. Fonda, Iowa.
there's a lot of cool stuff. I'm coming to look at the porcelain signs and the gas pumps. But I'm sure a lot of this stuff will, will end up back on the road. Yeah, do not miss this sale. So I'm gonna walk through these cars one more time just to give everyone else a, another look, see here, and then we'll call it good. I would like to know what this is. So everyone, if you know what this is, it says 12 volts on it. Please let me know. I mean, it's a generator. It's awful big to be a generator, but. This truck is the coolest truck. Just the amount of history. Rockwell City's Wildcat. I hope this ends up in Rockwell City. That's where one of my buddies is from. He put the floor in my 59 for me. And he's into this vintage stuff, so it'd be super cool if he got it. Split manifold, that's pretty cool. This Packard, though. Been inside a long time. I did not even see the, the frame next to it right here. Look at the body mounts, how small they were back in the day. Glass has been shot up at one time. Wish we could read the tag to see what this thing is. Gib hearts this car. This thing is awesome too. All right, everybody, kind of a quick one today. Like I said, I wish we could look at the stuff inside, but I understand why they're keeping it inside. Don't want stuff walking off or getting broken. But if you enjoyed the video today, please leave a thumbs up. Let me know if you'll be attending this auction. And if you're not attending, what would you bid on if you were here? And as always, if you're brand new, make sure to subscribe as I'm always finding cool stuff like this and trying my best to document it. So thank you all for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and I'll catch you guys next time.